my name is Georgia Friedman and I'm an accredited exercise physiologist. An exercise physiologist is a university trained health professional who specialises in the prescription of exercise for people with chronic disease such as diabetes. Exercise is a vital part of diabetes management, almost as important as taking your medication regularly and checking your blood glucose levels. But don't expect gyms full of bodybuilders and lycra because an exercise physiologist can prescribe exercises for you to do in the comfort of your own home using minimal weights or even things around your house as well as exercises that could be in the water or in a small group environment. You don't need a referral to see an exercise physiologist but you can claim some rebates back from Medicare and DVA for both one-on-one -on -one and group sessions. As well as that, some private health insurance will also provide rebates depending on your level of cover. If you'd like to find an exercise physiologist in your area, have a chat with your GP or hop online to www.essa.org.au to find one in your area. In the meantime, here's a couple of top tips for you to get started. Start gradually and start small. Even something like two or three 15 minute walks in a week is a great place to start. Remember to check your blood glucose levels before and after activity because they can either drop down or shoot up depending on the types of activity you do. Let your GP know that you're going to begin something new so that they're aware of what you're doing. And finally, choose something you enjoy doing, whether it's listening to music or joining a group. If you enjoy it, it's much easier. I can show you a few exercises that you can do around the house right now. But remember, if you feel any pain or discomfort doing any kinds of activities, it's important to immediately stop and see your GP before commencing again. Bearing that in mind, let's get into some exercise. So this exercise is great for your legs, really important for the muscles that get you up and down from your chair, as well as up and down stairs. So it's nice and simple, feet flat on the ground, hands across your chest or on your hips if you can. And all you need to do is nice and slowly stand up from your chair, and then return back down again. So this will challenge your balance a little bit as well. So keep your weight through your heels as you're coming up and down. You can repeat this eight to 10 times. So this exercise is a bicep curl. And the biceps are these muscles here. And they're the ones that we use to lift grocery bags or briefcase or lifting heavy objects. So what you need is just an object with a bit of weight in it. So a 1.5 litre water bottle would be a 1.5 kilo weight. A two kilo bag of rice would be another kind of weight you could use. Palms facing away from you. Arms nice and straight with your elbows tucked into your waist. Keeping your elbow nice and still. Just bring your hand up to your shoulder and back down again. And that's one. You want to try and do about eight or ten on this arm. And then remember whatever we do to one arm we have to do to the other. So swap over and do exactly the same with your other arm. So this exercise is a wall push-up, which is a modification of your standard push-up exercise. It works the muscles in your chest, which we then use for activities such as opening doors. So you need a nice flat wall with your feet a few steps back from the wall. The further away they are, the harder the exercise is. So see how you go. Hands, shoulder height and about shoulder width as well. Keeping your back nice and straight and your tummy tucked in. Bringing your forehead just to the wall and back again. Doesn't matter if your heels come off the floor, that's okay. And you should feel it in the chest and a little bit in the arms. So see how you go with about eight to 10 of those or however many you feel comfortable with. See how easy it can be? Remember you're never too old or too unwell to start moving.